Okay, so in our previous chapter, we had created a service perimeter for our cloud storage. And after that, when we tried to access that particular cloud storage account, we were not able to do that. But what about other services that belong to the same project? So let's say you have a virtual machine within the same project, which wants to access this particular cloud storage. Would it be able to do so? Now let's see all the settings that we need to make to make it possible for a virtual machine that resides within the same project to connect to the particular cloud storage, which is which is protected by this particular service perimeter. So let's go to our console. Okay, so this is the same perimeter that we had created in our previous chapter. Now the link to that chapter, I'll give in the description as well as over here. So what we need to do is we need to open this and let's edit this particular perimeter. And here we need to go to our VPC accessible services. So let's open this. Now, if by default, your all services are set, what this means is that all services on the configured virtual IP are accessible using your private Google access. So what this means is that any resource that resides within the same project through your private Google access will be able to access your cloud storage. So what we'll do is we'll create a virtual machine. And once we've created the virtual machine, we'll try to do a GSUtil LS and see whether it gives an appropriate output. So let's go and create a virtual machine. So here I've created a virtual machine. So what I will do is I'll do a GSUtil. So GSUtil is the command line interface to access your cloud storage API. So let's do a GSUtil LS. And here you can see that it gives a proper output. So the next thing that I'll do is I will click on the no service. And what this would do is none of the resources would be able to access our cloud storage API. So I've clicked on no service and I've clicked on save. So let's try to access to using the same GSU to LS command again. So let's go back to our virtual machine and let's do a GS util again. And this time it's and this time it failed, stating that it's prohibited by the organization's policy. So that is how you can control the flow of your perimeter for resources within your particular project. And again, you also have the option of all restricted services. What this would do is only services restricted in the previous step will be accessible. So what this would mean is that only your so what this would mean is that only the cloud storage would be accessible via your private Google access. Or the fourth option you have is you can click on the selected services and let's click on add VPC service accessible services. And here what we need to choose is your storage. So let's click on this. And now only the service explicitly mentioned here will be accessible by your private Google access. So now because I mentioned Google Cloud Storage API, and let's save this. So once I've saved this, now again, our resource should be able to explicitly access these Google Cloud Storage API. So let's click on save and let's try this out. Okay, so let's go back to our command prompt uh, virtual machine again. And again, let's do a GSU to LS again. And now you can see that it gives a proper output. Okay, so in this particular lecture, I talked about private Google access, but I did not give you a complete definition. Now that would actually take up a long time. So what I'll do instead is I'll give you a link on what private Google access is and probably make a video in a later time. So for the meantime, you can just go through this and understand what private Google access is. It's a very simple concept to understand. So that's it for this particular lecture. If you have any issues with this, please get in touch with me. I'll see you in the next.